Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld, and all of the muffalos being hauled in, and, and, oh guys, what are you doing? And I wanted to show you something over here, major break risk, uh-uh, well, okay, who is it? Miss P, she's about to grab a meal, right? Yeah, I think that was what, wow, okay, she's... Yeah, she's in trouble. Grab that meal that'll help you out, then go straight to bed. I'm, I'm sure you'll be fine. Um, they're all a bit stressed after after all this. But what, uh, what is hilarious here, if you can call you know the carnage up here hilarious in any way, but um, I've been watching this a little bit. Um, the pigs and the dogs are bringing all of these muffalos in. You ever see a, a pig carry an elephant? It's kind of what it's like. And... and you can't see the pigs like you, like you can see the dogs. It's just like these floating muffalos just just swarming through the map. I increased the the animal no trap zone to include a pathway up there. I had an idea, and it worked. So they are bringing all those in for us, so we can get some meals and get to bed and get some rest and try to get our sanity back. So Miss P, you go here when you're done, right? Where'd you go? Right there. Okay. So you are aiming for this by the time you wake up. Good. That's what I needed to see. Otherwise, what else is happening here? Um, Lady Shell wrote in, suggested since we've got all this meat now, and, and now that we've got vegetables starting to, uh, to pop and get hauled in, it's time to think about lavish meals. So fine meals require 0.25 nutrition of vegetarian and of ingredient that's interesting whereas lavish meal requires 0.5 of ingredient and vegetarian i i assume ingredient means meat that it requires meat but uh it's a weird way of wording that anyway twice as much food is what i'm getting there a little higher cooking skill but uh you know we've got shantigo we're not we're not worried about cooking skill where are we 14 yeah he's he can handle just about anything um what we need to do is get some butchering done. We do have some meat going on though. 10 there, 56 there, 7 there, 38 there. Let's get all this stuff used up and out of here. Uh, build complete, make large sculpture. Michael has done it again. And that gave him his big round of, of art. We'll get Catherine back in there to, to do some more. Uh, still, and then a miner of Natalia. Right here, she just needed some rest as well. Needs, yeah, she's... She's going to be in good territory here soon. So, Michael, what did you just make? And is that the only one? So, this one, Sweat for Scarcity. That's new. There goes a muffalo. Um, closeness by Rabbit. All those sound new. I'm going to pause a second. Because um, I, I, I know if I do all the talking that I want to do, we're going to get a raid or something in here. I'm not going to finish. So, first of all, Psychic Soothe popped in while I was cleaning up up there. So we've got every colonist of the male gender smiles with contentment. Some distant engine of happiness is stirring. So this is going to make every, all the guys happy for a while. That's a good one. We she sure could use that one right now. Also, it was suggested that we bring in or save some of these muffalo. I thought about that when this was going on and, and I was deciding whether to have them hunt them or even rescue some of them. In fact, when I had Tomasov come up, I accidentally clicked rescue and I thought, well, hmm. But they were a migrating herd. So I figured we'd rescue them, bring them back down here. They'd heal them up. They'd just go right back through the gauntlet, hit all the traps, and then they would go back out again and leave. So what was the point? But Lady Shell brought up the, uh, the the point that it's possible that they would have brought them into these boxes here to be um, medicated, to be to, for the vet to work on them. I'll put it that way. And since they can't operate doors unless they belong to us, they would be stuck in here while we did the taming. Now that made it possible. So I went back up here and looked at all of them and there wasn't anything that we could salvage. There were a lot of brain injuries, a lot of missing eyes and and parts and, and three hours left before they bled out and it just wasn't going to work. So that just didn't happen. But that'll be fine. I want to get as much of this done. I've even laid out 
you know half of the base yet we're going to be out into here we've got uh, production to put in we've got uh, animal handling somewhere up in here to put in we've got a a main hall an entry area i want to kind of design something it's kind of a, a nice entrance to the base that's got to go in we got some work ahead of us and when we get the majority of this up and going and we're out of the temporary and we're in here functioning again kitchens up and running hospitals up and running prisons up and running then we'll think about going out into the world and, and doing something interesting by then i'm hoping we're going to have some buffalo that i've wandered onto the onto the uh, the map and and uh, we'll be able to do some natural taming instead of some forced taming by wild animals trying to get out of our barn <laughs> Um, is there anything else to hit here? One last thing on my notes is this doe. Where is she at? Right there. I was suggesting before the muffalo came on that we butcher her rather than spend a whole bunch of hay feeding her. Since then, obviously, we have plenty of meat, and Tony suggested we just hang on to her to sell to the next group that comes by and wants to buy animals. That's a great idea. That's the idea that I was looking for, so that works fine. Um, anything else before I let these guys go? Let me think here. Breaks, and I think that is it. Let you guys do your thing. Handy, what are you up to? You are building marble wall. Oh, we, that one muffalo that came through here, we may have got a shot or two off and probably did a little damage, so she wants to do some repairing. Otherwise, she really wants to... Ooh, this is looking good. It's way too small now. I can see that now. Yeah, hmm... Well, we're going to mine this part out. If we got another herd coming through in a year and we're actually getting low on meat, do we have 20... See, I told you something was going to happen if I if I just, you know, didn't pause the game. A meteorite. Okay. Um, do we have 25... Yeah, we do. A 5x5 five five is a 25. That's probably about the amount of muffalo we've brought into us. Okay. Yeah, that can handle about any kind of a hunting party we would do. What is with the meteorite? A large meteorite has struck ground in the area. It has left behind a lump of marble. So a marble meteorite just hit. Oh, man. Where'd you... Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> now, what would we do if it was, like, right here? Could I get him up and out of there in time? Um... Nope. Oh, man. Look at that. What is with this spot? The cargo pods crashed through this area, too. Man, just like that. Man, we'd be, we wouldn't even be uh, digging a, a grave. I mean, there'd be nothing left. It'd be, you know, squished. Boy, that was wild. <laughs> well, um, is this considered roofed? No? <laughs> we do have constructed roof on the rest of this. Okay. Um, orders. Let's mine it out. That was crazy. And put all the doors back in. Wow. Do we need this anymore? I don't know if we need it. We're assuming this is going to work. Let's wait. We could leave the structure, though. And Handy's going to go do a whole bunch of repairing. Um, we can leave the structure, roof it over again, and leave it in here to... Uh, uh, let me... I wonder if Handy would try... No, there's no door, so it's not considered a building. She wouldn't roof it. Okay. Um, so I'm going to have to put doors back in to get a roof on it to get it... Yeah. Hmm. We'll leave it until we know that this isn't needed. But even then, it's possible sometime toward the end of the series, we could have a raid that actually overruns this place. In which case, we just might want this structure sitting here. Don't know. We'll have to wait to see how that goes. Or sappers that come in and just pound the, the crud out of these doors. Though It'll take a lot to get through those doors. Uh, Wild Boar 1 is fully healed. Wild Boar 1. Why was Wild Boar 1 injured? I don't remember. Maybe something to do with that last... Now... I don't know. Maybe a muffalo pounded on him. I'm not sure. It was suggested, I think, by Tony, the idea of maybe selling off some of the pigs as we get more dogs. Or at least to sell off the pigs. I, I'm thinking if we... We've got about ten haulers right now. Five. Five. Yeah, we've got ten haulers. Ten, five dogs, five pigs. Maybe as we get... Oh, what else is going in here? 
a my a, 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 an elk migration no we're not going to do that this time um we do have sienna pregnant again so maybe we could sell off some of these guys and because what i'm thinking of is the wild boars have a dirt factor filth rate of one versus the dogs um that's the easiest way to find a dog there's got to be a dog in here, so right there, Utah, you've got a dirt factor of, filth factor of zero. Meaning, the dogs go outside and poo. The pigs, well, they just let loose wherever they get the urge. They're pigs. So if we, you know, I was thinking about having the pigs just haul outside stuff. So, but that's pretty limited. I mean, there's only so many things that go in the stockpile. Most everything goes in our fridge or gets hauled out of here. So even though this is kind of a dirty area... If we clean it all up one time, we won't have to reclean it again, except for the pigs, you know, leaving their, their filth everywhere they go to pick up these chunks. So there is something to be said about not having pigs in the base, but I don't know what else to do with them. There's very little hauling. We could, you know, grab wood and bring it and drop it into an outside stockpile and set up a, a pig zone, pig no trap zone and a dog no trap zone. So that's something to think about, but eventually I can see swapping out the pigs for dogs and having just a fleet of dogs roaming the property. So that sounds probably long-term plan as the better model. <laughs> we'll put it that way. This pig is resting. Okay, you see, sprinting to go rest. Must have hit 2200. Yeah. So, um, migrating herd. Yeah, we've, we've been there before. A large herd of elk is passing through the area. They won't attack unless provoked. Jump to location. There they are. I've never seen elk in this game before. And... 43 of them. Wow. Yeah, we're just going to let you guys roam right through. I'd sure hate to get a... Major power outage of some kind and lose all that meat. We got everybody in. We got one left. You are what? Dead and spoils in a day. And we're kind of needing you hauled in. Why did this not get hauled in? Animals, you're in the zone. So you're just the last one and it didn't happen. And I guess while I'm, I'm going to leave it pause for a moment while I'm thinking about it. Has Wolf been eating anything we'd like to haul in, too? Boy, there's a mess over here. That's where the deer hunting was going on, right? Wolf has... Sure, he's been eating. She? She. But there's no animals with a little red... There. You attacked a, tort a tortoise last time. And... Dead for a day. Spoils in less than a day. Ah, we'll let that one go. Okay. Turn you on. I need to find somebody who can get this one. So who is not sleeping? Harvesting rice needs... You're good for a while. Why don't you come on out, Sangria, and get this one? Um, anybody that can run a little faster, though. You, you're a 4.5, though, right? You're a 3.59 where you're standing right now. That's something I've got to learn. Something I've got to remember. I'm always messing up that one. Movement speed, what I'm finding, at least here. I don't think it was like, like this back in Alpha 13. But here, it's where she is at this moment. So, 3.59, you were probably crossing through the water. You're probably in the water right now, aren't you? Um, yeah, you're in the shallows. So, at this point, you are a speed of 3.59. Let's get you, well, out of the garden, because the garden is what? Uh, rich soil, run speed of 87%. So if she's 4.59 normally, then 87% of that is probably somewhere down around 4. So she, I can't always depend on that number. I need to be aware of where they're standing when I'm looking at that number, which is really kind of annoying. I'd like to know what their running speed is at a, a baseline where it's constant everywhere so that I can compare one to another and not have to think about whether or not they're standing in mud at the moment. That's kind of, uh, that'll that'll really trip me up later. Anyway, Sangria and Shantigo. Shantigo is cooking lavish meals. I'm going to let him. And everybody else is in bed. And Sangria's mood is decent enough. Let's go do this because all the animals are sleeping now. And I don't want that one to rot. 
Consume Muffalo Corpse. No, let's just let's just haul it. All right, with that, Chantico is making lavish meals. And yeah, ten meat. So he's going to be ten meat and ten vegetables. But let's do something here. Let's haul this one first. Uh, haul. And Rabbit, you are relaxing socially by sitting there. That's fine. You'll probably talk to Shantigo. And then I want you to haul in Shantigo. Let's grab anything interesting in here. No more mushrooms. Hmm. Okay, well, grab these potatoes. And next is our shift. Haul that one. And then can you haul this one? No, you still can't. we got to give it some time. Right about there. Because that was still assigned to that. No, we still can't haul the muffalo meat, which is full, fresh, no problem. We need to go to that space right there. Now can I haul the muffalo meat? I still can't. Oh, that drives me nuts. I can haul this muffalo meat. And this muffalo meat is a power conduit. Is Oh, come on. 60. 60 of 60 hit points. This one. 75, 60 of 60 hit points. I can Shantigo haul this one just fine. I can't haul that one. So I'm just going to have to give up trying to figure out what is causing that. That just that just makes me talk to myself funny. So do that one. Oh, I canceled the other one, didn't I? All right. Yeah, okay, let's grab. All right, we'll grab that one. No, you're cooking a lavish meal. Let's do that one more time. I got to cancel that. There we go. We're set. You're still at it? Guys. There's no patience there, huh? Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Somebody did some butchering. Wow. Muffalo leftovers for years. That's what we're going to have to... Shantigo, you're going to have to get really creative there. We're going to have to have every recipe you can come up with to uh, disguise muffalo meat. Major break risk is Miss B, who is digging at marble needs. Let's go grab one of these lavish meals. So we'll see the effect of that. So someone that is cranky eats one of Shantigo's uh, masterpieces here. And we'll see what comes of it. You needs right now. You're a little rough. We do have Night Owl at night, so there's a plus 16. We're still rough. But the food's going to help out a lot. Let's see what happens. Finished. Lavish meal, plus 10. Nice. Though it's still a gradual creep upward. It doesn't, it doesn't happen instantly. Hmm. Okay. Well, she's just about out of the woods. And she's the only one to worry about right now. So we are extending the kitchen. Because we're going to have some vegetables starting to come in too. Let's zone, stockpile, click, and absorb all of that. Just this group right here. That's something that just happens to line up with the end of a bedroom block. Whether or not that's going to be real or not, I don't know. But it's there for now. Anyway, what is going on? Batteries are charged and separated. Good. Um, did we ever get this system up and running? We did not. I've got to get Handy or Klaus. Klaus is butchering. I think we're doing good on the butchering right now, Klaus. Let's... Let's, hmm, what is it with these? It was conduit. Okay, let me see power. We missed it somewhere here. Power right there. We're coming out of here, working our way through, and it died down here. Because why? It's already there. Didn't need to go there. Uh, oh, that's going to be hard to cancel. <laughs> All right, be easier just to do that. I'm supposed to run down this one. So let's put in marble walls again. Marble. Shoot you across there. Okay. And power. So that wasn't it. Power needs to get down into here, then move across to here. And there's zero by my pointer, so none of that's bad. And down into here. Three. Now we got to that point. I figured that was as far as I needed to go. 
but yeah, as far as we need to go. So all the materials are already here. We just got to get somebody to get down there and build it. Okay. So Klaus, you are you actually butchering? You are actually butchering. Okay. We need to kind of shut down the butchering for a while. You, Bills, Kibble, you're first. Let's get the Kibble going so that we get somebody to start hauling this away. or back into here. Meanwhile, Klaus, you are playing horseshoes. Do you need it? You kind of do. Well, okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. And then come get one of these. You a lavish meal? You're a fine meal. Fine meal. So we only made one lavish meal. And then Shantigo went and did something else. And now he's back. You're going to eat your own fine meal. Okay. Because <laughs> somebody ate his lavish meal he set aside and hid over here in the, in the refrigerator. All right, so you guys are getting that all mined out. Handy's grabbing a meal, and then I'm going to have her head down to this point right here and get working. No. Um, cancel, get working on marble. Marble. Oh, we're over here. That's why it's not showing up. Right there. Working on the... Where's conduit? Right there. Okay. Okay. Repairing granite wall. Oops, wait a minute. Where are you at? Oh. Yeah, you're still over here. And you're going to go down there and do one. You're going to come back because repairing is so important to you. Klaus, I'm going to have you do that. Why don't you pop down over here. And I wonder if you would stick to it since you do have construction enabled. So work on this one for me. If not, in fact, just to make sure not, let's take your butchering down a notch. We don't need to butcher all the animals all at once. So Klaus, your cooking is going to drop one notch, which is what right now? You're at a six. So you can handle simple and fine meals if we need you. Okay. Otherwise you're going to hunt, which we shouldn't have any queued up. Uh, that'd be a good test to find out. If you get down here and do one and they want to go hunting, then I'll know there's still an animal out there. Um, oh boy, I wish I could just tell you to do all the conduit and make it happen. Guess I'm gonna have to do it manually. Stop. Now you want to go consume a meal. Okay. You are going to be put into slavery here. Now you're gonna do this way, and then we're going to just do this one at a time. It's the bottom one. But will it always be the bottom one? Too much reading power, okay. That one. That one. Is that broken there? And that one. Let's see what happens here. Boom, 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 boom. It might be enough. Okay, nothing happened yet, but I don't want him to get away. So, looking at it here, we have a problem here. Okay, Klaus, let's work on... That one. There we go. One more. No. Okay, what do we got now? Pathway there, there, there. I think we're live. We're live. Okay. So you're going to grab these and go load up one of those. Don't really need your constructing now. I just wanted to get this going. Do we need any load bearing walls in the area? Um. This is feeling a little iffy in this area. It, it, it does qualify. We're not bigger than a span of 11 by 11, but it's really kind of close. Why don't you do me a favor and just build this one space right here? Otherwise, we're a little iffy in this area too. So when you're done with that, no, Handy, you can do that. Where are you at? You still repairing? You are. Hmm. Miss P is going to mine that out. Alicia's going to probably jump in there and do some of that too. Yeah, let's expand this one. Zone, stockpile, and we'll do that. All right. Need to get somebody to clean in here, and let's go ahead and get those hauled away. All right. Um, Utah did what? She hauled meat and dropped it like she just combined piles or something. That was kind of different. Hmm. Okay. Didn't quite expect that. Shantigo, you're hauling individuals. 
Okay, let's get you a mental break risk of Cathra. Okay, that's right. I gotta swap Cathra and Michael out. All right, so Cathra or Shantigo, why don't you first? Um, haul this one. We'll just do this again. I need to get more people set up for hauling, but they're too busy doing other things. Then bring in 75 of something. These potatoes. And then bring in... Uh, Sienna's gotten food poisoning from eating raw buffalo meat. Alright, so Shantigo. Cancel. Do that one again. And then do... Not that 75. Boy, I wish we could just get that used. You can do the 75 over here. After that. And that will get you all set up. I need haulers. Well, I've got the dogs and pigs. That's sanitary. Sure. Uh -huh. they'll, they'll get it done. All right. Cathra, you're down here. No, Michael's down here now. Where's Cathra? She's over here cleaning in this dirty place. Hmm. Doesn't want to be down here and is driving her nuts. Okay. So we got to get her into a place of beauty. How do we do that? Hmm. And I wonder if I get the doors on here, if this is considered a room, would it change the beauty status? Right now, I think it is grabbing the beauty of negative three because it's adding up the whole area. In a sealed room, it only adds up what's right there inside that room. Yeah, that's right. So we do need to get those doors on there. Um, turn you off. And Catherine, what do we do with you? A beautiful place. Well, what are we over here? We could just get you arting again. That's only a negative one point. Yeah, okay. okay. I'll tell you what. Let's have you clean here. I keep wanting to right click to get rid of these buttons in my way. Or these, these numbers. There. Cathra, if you're going to clean and break, clean over in here. And then once you get all that clean, we'll turn this back on. And work. Cathra. Turn your art back up. Your craft back down. Eh, we'll leave it up. But we'll take Michael's down. One notch for a while. And then we'll set up another... we got to go read some statues. Set up another... Oh, one, two, three. For you to do. But, Catherine, clean this area up. Natalia, you are making an advanced helmet. That means you're at the end of your queue. That was the last one. Besides these. Besides these, that's right. I wanted to... Get back to... Why is it so hard to see this whenever I want to? It's refining. Did I already swap that over? I already swapped it over. You guys are working on it. Okay, I did that between episodes. Refining is one I couldn't think of when I jumped back over into multi-analyzer. But refining is going to give us the chem fuel that I need for the shells, which we want to get some shells loaded up and ready to go. So, Catherine, where I lost you. Where are you going? You're making a large sculpture. Ah, you got the order. Are we done in here? We're done enough. One, two... Yeah, we're done enough. Tomislav, how about you clean up that one for me? That one, that one, and that one. And this one. And that should really help out this room for Catherine's sake. Now we're at a point five positive. Okay, that's with a statue in here. And somebody made another mess. Okay, so let's do that. And clean up Tomislav. There's one right there somewhere. It hasn't registered yet. Wow, I'm not used to these pauses in the game. That just wasn't there last series. There we go. Gotcha. So there's a lot more going on under the hood in RimWorld now than, than uh, I'm used to from before. Okay, so with that, um, Handy's back here. Okay, Handy, can you specifically give me one out here in the middle somewhere? That's what I'm mostly concerned about. And... Really? What is with the migrations? That's three random events all at once that are almost identical. Um, Klaus did get the one over here. That's what I wanted to see. Handy's going to get the one over there. And then I want to get... Uh, okay, we'll go look at this again. Passing through again. Jump to location. You guys are... They like the top of the map. Make it as hard as possible. Tame failed. We're working on boom lobes. And we're going to work on... No, we're going to have a lavish meal. And Klaus is bringing this one in. What happened to Sangria bringing that one in? She must have changed her mind at the last second there. It was too far away. And because it wasn't her own order. Now that's why I like the pigs. But yeah. And the, and the dogs, of course. Hmm. Yeah, okay. 
I was going to say we sure could use some hauling. And we need some resetting to do. I've got to get these guys reset. We do have backups, though not too many. Yeah, got to get that going too. But so many things got to get going, which is why we don't have a lot of cleaners and haulers going on. That is Miss B, who does not have the Psychic Sue, but she is going for that Kevlar helmet. Yeah, I'm assuming that's a Kevlar helmet. She now has, it looked like the shape of one. Uh, gear, Steel Advanced. Okay, not a Kevlar, but it's it's a better helmet. She really doesn't want, she dropped the other helmet. Simple Steel Helmet, 97%. Um, a sign, we're all the same. Just Miss a P. Yeah, she's middle of the. She's an escapee, so she's 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 got a history. She knows what a helmet's for, and apparently so does Catherine too. I'm getting me one of them too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Natalia, what are you doing now that you're not? You're going to bed. Okay, now that you're not doing this anymore. All right then. Um, Miss B is getting some joy back up. Catherine, you are going to get lots of joy while you're creating statues. So you are where right now? You probably went to ate a meal. No, you didn't go eat. Hmm. Where are we now? 31 minutes into this, if that timer is correct. Let's spend a little time reading. One, two, three. And there was supposed to be one hauled into Michael's. Did it happen? It did not. So that one, we don't know which one that is. It's the one that's got a line coming out of it, right? Where are you at? So there, there, and that one does. And that one is... Sweat for scarcity. Remind me. That one was about Michael making a sculpture of Michael making a sculpture of Michael. Okay. So this one's new. It is shoddy. This one is poor. So probably be selling these two. We're still practicing. And it's raining out. Arr, raining out. Gotta have these in. Darn. Okay. Put that on pause. Thomas Love, what you doing? You're researching after you come grab a pile of these. And it's rice, so there's a lot of them here. We need everybody. You're building marble, and you're way down there, but you've got a good run speed, so I'm going to have no choice but to bug you. Come get that one. Grab it. Your sewing area, you're right here. Grab these. Shantigo. And let's see, making kibbles. You're nearby. You come grab those. Klaus, why don't you... Refueling, refueling torch lamp. Ah, yeah, still need you. Come on up here and grab these. Catherine, note you stay what you're doing. You two sleeping. Michael does not haul. Miss a P is playing chess. Not going to bug her. Alicia, you're digging marble or granite. So you're down in here. You're right there. You know, we get, need to get you outside in the sun for a while. Or out of out of the, the pit. So you can find up and help out too. All right, let's see if there's enough to get most of this cleaned up. You are bringing in... You're 75. Okay. So we'll get all that done. And let's see if we can get... Can't get just one of these guys red while we're doing that. Art. Shoddy. By Michael. Beauty plus 10. And we've got Closeness by Rabbit. So portrayal relates to Rabbit becoming a master at growing. Ooh. So on this piece is an illustration of Rabbit practicing growing while grinning. <laughs> the scene is surrounded by four failed experiments. <laughs> the image is bordered by six donkeys. A style is simple with purest elements. So he became a master on the 12th of September of last year. Hmm. Okay, we gotta keep it. We just gotta. Alright, so he built this one for Rabbit. That's what I'm gonna how I'm gonna think of it. That goes right there. And then we've got one more, and it pauses each time I do this, so that'll be fine. You are freedom number one. What we got here? Ooh, beauty of 50. So poor. Okay, poor is not so poor. This betrayal relates to Michael incapacitating the muffalo with an assault rifle on 12th of April, May. Yeah, that was our big muffalo hunt. We managed to get it to... Uh, into into history here so this piece bears a representation of a muffalo being knocked unconscious with cold efficiency a cleric watches silent silently near the edge of the image the subject subjects are in front of a tree and the image somehow expresses both hope and community <laughs> uh, released to michael incapacitating a muffle 
Buffalo. So, all right, tell you what. Let's instead cancel. How do I do that? Cancel the one heading for Michael's room. Right there. Let's put this better one in there instead. So, you're this one? No, you're this one. Freedom number one about the Great Muffalo Hunt. So, we'll put that in Michael's room instead. Install right there. Now, if we can just get somebody to do that. Um, I kind of lost everybody here. How'd we do? We did it. Alright, good. And with that, who can I bug? Let's bug Rabbit. Just because if I don't, he's going to go back up there and, and uh, knock some more or you know, harvest some more plants. Rabbit, where'd you go? You're running down this way to do what? You are sowing that. Okay, when you're done with that, then haul this one. That? Let's see, I gotta do it this way. Okay. You can install this one, and you can install that one. And then you'll probably go back to sowing that one, because that'll be nearby. And I guess that's all of the planter boxes. Okay, that'll keep you busy for a while. What's Sangria doing? She's sleeping. Good. So while it's raining, let's not do a lot of harvesting. That would be wise. And speaking of, um, I'm just wondering if we want to get... I thought about putting hay grass out over here. And if it gets eaten by the wild animals, it gets eaten by the wild animals. But I could see if we do manage to find some buffalo or those boomalopes or something, kind of getting a little sparse on our quantity of hay grass later. So let's go ahead and do that while I'm thinking of a growing zone. Um, I'll come back later, tell you what, yeah. I'll come back later and, and expand and correct this, but for now... Oh, that's all mud. Oh, okay. In that case, I'm going to have to kind of let it drift out a little bit in order to connect. All right, well, in that case, we're going to do it like so. There. And from here, head out... Okay, it'll do that whole area. So we'll do that, that, and we'll go up a little higher, since we can. There and there all right you are going to be hay grass and we'll get some more wood out of that too hay grass right there a little more in this area too would that connect looks like it might i stopped because i thought it had ended but it didn't okay we can do that and looks like you'll even head out to here as long as they're connected it'll be the same zone as soon as we jump over a void and do another one it'll create a brand new zone so we can no we can't really that sure looked like rich soil but I guess there is a square of mud in there okay we'll call that one good that way if I were to go through it later and say no more sowing it's wrong time of year and not realize this isn't all the same one sometimes it gives you a, a color it's almost almost identical all right rabbit you are harvesting poplar tree did you install those? You kind of did. Okay, good. Kathra, you are over here and... All right, is that each session of work? No, that's the whole thing. You're actually getting close to being done with one. Good, so that means Michael's down over here now. Good, so you're making more of these. I wonder at what point we, need to, we can call this job kind of done. I've got it marked as forever. How about do until we have? What do we have? Um, and does it truly know? I zoom out so I can get this on the map. There's none of our back over here anymore. So everything's on the map that we have. You are marble blocks 1387. Granite blocks 455. Okay. Let's do something like this then. Marble actually make any stone now hmm because I didn't want them to only work on one and then only work on the other in case we you know really needed the other and we never got to it so how do you deal with that that if I say a thousand it'll be a thousand of any we already have more than that so I guess I need to drop you back down and so marble we're going to do until yeah this is gonna take some uh, can I type into that do until um, no. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, we are two fifties. Oh, good. We can do that in minus ten. Do until we have a thousand. 
that should be enough for any major building spree at any one time. In fact, 500 would be enough, to tell you the truth. Let's do that. And then over here in um, granite, there we are. Let's do until we have 500 of you. So we're almost done with block cutting for a while. Uh, let's go up. Well, we're over there, right there. So minus, minus, and a group of you. All right, so do until 500 of each. So 45 more blocks, and we're done making blocks for a while. Michael will be so relieved. Except, what else is there for him to do? I mean, he didn't have a whole lot of skills other than what we're going to force him to, uh, <laughs> to learn. Well, his crafting is skill of three... There. What was that noise? One of the animals. Um, wants to craft, wants to art. Taylor, he's a 3 of 20. Smithing, he's a 3 of 20. Hate to lose the materials to try to learn those skills. Mining is probably where, whoops, where he could go next. That is where he will go next, except for hunting. Cooking, 2 of 20. We could do that. He could... Not that one. Um, leave it you as a two, but he could butcher. Yeah, I've got all the meals set so he couldn't accidentally make a meal. Now, that's a pretty bloody, ugly place. He does have some some mood issues. So there is that to think of. Lots of muffalo leather. Lots of muffalo leather. wonder if we shouldn't up the bills here a little bit. We already have. So nobody's set to do it. Okay. Make two because we got plenty. Why do we have plenty? We got rid of all the dead man stuff. And we've only made two helmets. Apparently we've made more helmets. One, two, three. One of these is a dead man's helmet? We only made one helmet that I'm aware of. So gear. Um, helmets at the top. Steel helmet. And there's an advanced helmet. I thought we only made one of these. Apparently we made two. Okay. Hmm. Let's get this going again. And I think Natalia is the perfect one to do it. So Natalia, you're right there. And let's get your... Your... I see. Tailoring is there, but smithing was first. Okay. So she's just naturally going to fall into it soon, too. Because Bill's... Oh, until we have one. And they keep swapping them out. Okay, and until we have one, and that was satisfied. Everybody's got little, except for Catherine. She's got a, she's got the one that I got rid of. Nope, she, there, yeah, D. Hmm. If I made one more, they're at it again? If I made one more, then she would probably swap out. That's quite possible. So, one of one. So we just made one. So Cathra, I don't wake you up. If I don't do it though, I'll forget about it. Needs. You'll go right back to sleep. I'm going to wake you up. Come and wear this one. Then we can get rid of the other one. Hopefully sell it. So that must have, one of them must have been wearing it before that, uh, before that last sale happened. And... What's happening here? 65, 65. We're doing fine there. Who popped out of here? Somebody woke up Michael. I didn't see it. Oh, Shantigo just got up to go to work. Okay, that's what it was. He's on He's on chef's hours. It's 3 in the morning. Or is that baker's hours? Get up and get the breads going first. Yeah. Um, I did, I don't know if you noticed, I went ahead and after we saw that our guests could walk right through forbidden doors, I went ahead and got rid of the doors here and sealed this up. So... They're still going to haunt this area. They might go into this room, but they haven't yet. Unless, because there's nowhere to go here, they go a little further. But otherwise, they will probably just warm, roam in this area now. It won't really affect us as much. Um, Forty-some minutes into this, what needs to be done? What have I not done that I've talked about? Um, nothing is on my list. No, yeah, my list is empty. So really, we're just waiting for the next crazy event. All of our herds have wandered through. That, was, that one started there, and yeah, they're gone. Still have a couple of mega sloths. What else is happening up here? Turkeys, the deer have left. So turkeys and wild boars. 
Um, oh, the deer have roamed down. Okay. Anything important move on to the map? More boomalopes, uh, muffalos. We have some boom rats. That's one thing that happened that that kind of delayed the uh, you know the ability to go get some of the muffalo and try to to rescue them. Is that we did shoot a boom rat. In fact, it's probably that one right there. Yep. <laughs> Shot a boom rat um, while we were hunting the muffalo, and it finally went boom and lit the whole area on fire. So had to kind of you know, everyone who who wasn't ready to break had to go deal with that. So there there was just no salvaging the one or two that may have been possible uh, ibex over here um no i'm not seeing anything okay let's look for predators while we're out here no grizzlies no cougars Come over to here no i'm seeing all the z's and they're all animals that we can handle Got some ostriches hiding in there. There should be a timber wolf in this area. Though I'm not seeing his Z's. Did he roam this way? No. He may have left the map by now. Or he may have come down a little closer to us. Down in here. No, nobody in there. We're good over here. Got an emu. Another one. Ostrich. Huh. That may be predator free right now. Or he managed to blend in over there. Okay, well, nighttime, and not everybody's sleeping. Rabbit, you're up. You're sewing air. You're going to work in that new area. Good. So Handy's asleep. Tomasov's asleep. Finally, they were, you know, not sleeping there for a while. Klaus, you are refueling. Where are you going when you do this? So double click on you. You're over here. Okay. So you're doing that. Can I get you to build some? You still have wood on you? No, you're going to get more wood. Let's get some built. Let's have you do this one, and then that's the kitchen there, okay? So I don't have them laid out in this area. I do have this one, though. So work on that one. All right, this area is functional now. Do I have any more laid out that I haven't built yet? Yeah, you. Let me zoom up a little. You. I don't think I have any more setting in there. Okay. Um... Well, that'll get that'll get us for now. I don't have any more placed. And what have we got over here? These two ladies are clearing out the base for us, big time. So let's get this laid out. Who else is available right now? Natalia is praying, and then she's going to go use up some of that that um, muffalo that we don't have muffalo wool or leather that we don't have room for which so i don't want to bother her i'm afraid of building up here too much where else can we store that otherwise i was going to say let's lay some of this out um but i need to get this wall in we're getting a little bit wide over here michael you will construct come over here and fill this in for me and while they're doing that. So we got muffalo wool to, or leather to think about. Otherwise, we've got granite walls over here. You guys drop down, down, and the wall is actually here on this group. So that means this drops down into there. Nope, but you're going to be marble. So cancel is C. And put in marble right there. And Michael. Did you? Oh, you went to move a rock? Did I really click on one that had a rock? I really did. Then you didn't come down. Well, okay, you did the area I wanted you to. Now let's fill in this one. So work on granite wall. Bring some more granite into this area. And handy, you're up. So you're building. Do you need a meal? You don't. Come build this one specifically for me. And then once Michael lays some more out, I'll have you build another spot one over here somewhere. That way we'll know we're well supported. Michael is coming back, right? There he is. So he can fill this area and I got a spot one over there. So structure structurally, a roof has collapsed. Where? That's what I was worried about. Okay. Fill these in. That was a weird place to collapse. Oh, we took out one over here and the center dropped. Okay, almost. Michael almost bit the uh, bit the farm there. Okay, Handy, you do that one. So it just felt like we were getting to that time, that point. 
to where we really needed to uh, you know, to, to move something here to get this guy this area supported so that's going to take care of this area which is what I was thinking of when I thought about that let's finish mining or start mining out from here to here like that pathways are in this bedroom's in that gives us two big bedrooms all of these smaller ones down to here plus these up here that gives us eight and six that's 14 15 16 bedrooms plus the doctor's bedroom that's 17 bedrooms we'll put another bedroom into the prison so the warden will have his own bedroom over here and maybe the animal handler will have a bedroom with them and it seems like there's one more major profession that should kind of be close to their work um, it's no really I don't think there's a, a way to get Shantigo into the kitchen so we'll give him like this room right here which will be close enough kitchen's there he'll probably to grab this room all right so starting to run out of time in this episode what did it muffalo leather that's the other thing to get done I need these not to build up out here I've expanded this about as far as I'm gonna go we just need more place to put it I just hate to well what is that noise all right I need Natalia to work on clothing for a while and that will relieve the space that we need let's go that route so work and Natalia you're going to jump into tailoring first now and you this is a lot of work left to go so Natalia break and rest <laughs> what time is it nine in the morning needs you're kind of there but tell you what if I have you do this first if I can remember to relieve you then oh you're gonna work on one that's already there never mind that's no good I was hoping you would grab materials but that's already being done okay although I could well that was the duster that really has the most materials which would accomplish the goal so to send you off to do a t-shirt probably wouldn't accomplish it all right never mind here comes a rolling chunk through the place dirtying the place all up and yeah cleaning has got to be a thing it really does so Thomas Slav is, is our best researcher I hate to pull him off of there Shantigo is making lavish meals and I'm really thankful for that so that's my two obvious cleaners right there uh, why'd you go to a four in there let's at least bring it to a two. Oh, that's research cleaning is the next one all right you guys are too yeah so who to clean sangria I want those boomalopes so no rabbit I want that area so so no Mississippi hmm it's Mississippi or Alicia who is set to oh that's mining yeah mining and Mississippi lost you here so you're cleaning when there's no mining um, who gets the most benefit from mining of the two of you I think you both are, have burning passions for it let's do it this way Alicia and character mining right there just a single whereas Miss P right there is a double okay so I guess Alicia would lose the least benefit if we got her cleaning any reason why that won't work the moods fine hideous environment uh, you already got that so yeah may as well so miss B or no uh, Alicia congratulations you're there and there now so where are you at right now specifically and tell you what how about you grab a, a meal All right where's a lavish one let's give you a good one I'm not seeing any I bet you they're eating as fast as he's making them down here yeah that one's a lavish meal a little dot on the on the corner though I can't see the dots on this one but come on and grab this fine meal over here Shantiko found one though he knows where they're hidden and once she does that let's set her to cleaning where probably right here this is probably the worst area start cleaning this area then you'll just kind of spiral your way around um, Alicia did you make it up oh, there you are you needs once that's done you've got half a day left so you're good good we'll get lots of cleaning done and otherwise I could say put the other materials out over here I just don't want whoever's making dusters to be constantly running back and forth to go get that when we get down to you know 10 of these and 15 of those and four of those and 
but I guess realistically that's not going to happen for a while. So we'll do that. I could though specifically say go ahead and store, um, turn you guys off, you guys off. Let's get me back to, come on now, raw foods, there we go. No, foods, that's what I want to turn off. Apparel? wasn't apparel. It was raw resources. Where's the uh, the leathers? Items? What am I not seeing here? Apparel should be what we've made. Wild boar's pregnant. Not what we make it from. Items. No. Raw resources. No. Manufactured? Manufactured it is. That, that drives me nuts. <laughs> that one, I don't think of leather as something yet that you manufacture, but I guess kind of so. I guess you you, know, you, you skin it and you, you yeah, salt it or whatever they would do. And anyway, um, muffalo. Can I do this while that paused me? Muffalo leather. I cannot. Okay, and muffalo leather. Okay, so we will allow that, which should let the pigs and the dogs just start going crazy. So we finished research. Let's leave research finished for just a little bit. Tomislav should have dropped immediately back into cleaning, right? No, he's constructing. Work. Tomislav into... Ah, I see. Let's just go here for a while. We are really, really dirty. Tomislav, you went where? You went over here... We could clean this place too, but more people are going to be affected by in here. So, Thomas Saw, why don't you just dive into that one? Yeah, you can spend the rest of the day cleaning up. So, that takes care of what we're going to do with these. Churchill or somebody's going to start hauling these three away. Wood's coming in. Great. Wood's coming in. Oh, we're, cleaning, we're clearing out a new um, field over here. Yeah, growing zone. So, that's going to bring in trees but wood in general though is probably getting kind of low huh where is that right there so hard to get to this edge uh it's not there 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 we go only 37 darn so we've got to get some more tree cutting going we can't do any of these yet now remind me because it's been a long time since i've dealt with with these um these uh growing zones with trees will they automatically harvest them or once they mature, will they just ignore them and then I can cut them at will? So, remind me how that works. I'm guessing that they will harvest them like any other item in a growing zone. That should be how it works, but I don't know that. Psychic Sooth is ending, and I need trees. Let's take these out. Let's chop this boy. Ah, oh, there's a problem with that. Till we get auto doors, that's going to be so slow. Okay, where else can we go for wood? The dogs will haul. Okay, let's think about that. Animals, what is in this area? All of this area here is. In fact, let's just make sure of that. Let's uh, zone, add to animal, no traps. Let's kind of grab the top of this too. Um, grab that in case we mine that out. And right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and chop. Orders. Chop wood. We'll just kind of keep it as close as we can. That arc right in there. Okay. Don't want to get into these until we get to a situation where we really are desperate. Then we'll use up what's already here. Most must designate wood. Yeah. So, are we good now to shut this down? I think we are. I think we've got enough done. No more raids. Lots of herds, though. But I think we're in a good place. Okay. It's been Noble Rambler. Thanks, guys, for watching. Bye bye.